Alrighty, this is my client Shannon. She has been processing about eight minutes, nine minutes. So she was an all over about level five, level six. And we went through a blonding process, take her all over blonde. And then we realized it was just not a good color for her. It was too light. She was not liking it. So we are now in the process of going back dark. So we, her hair has been super resistant. We've tried everything that I know what to do with my, every ounce of my professionalism into filling her hair. <laughs> it has not worked. So this poor girl has been coming back about every three weeks to put more brown on. So what we did today was, she was about an all over probably seven or eight that we had filled with a actually a 4N last time in chromatic. So today I used I used these GOD gray oxidizing drops and let's see. So we mixed 2 ounces of chromatics 3N with tin volume and so this says 2 ounces mix 10 drops if you're mixing a level, if the color you're using is a level one to six. So we made two ounces of 3N with 10 volume. So we added 10 drops. We did this zigzag part for her foils. I don't know if you can really see. And we just touched up so she had just a little bit of highlights in there. It kind of looks like a lot, but once her hair is down and parted, all of these will fall all down. The way it's, the way the foils are will help hide them a little bit. So we just put the three in and I also did a glaze over top the color with a Shady Q in 3V and I did one ounce of the 3V and half an ounce of Shady Q Crystal Clear and I did one ounce of the Shady Q Developer. So we have about maybe five more minutes of processing. This is looking really good. It looks like it's finally taking dark this time. Hallelujah. And then we are going to rinse with cold water and style.
my brother in law, Joshy. We just cut his hair. He's a sweet boy. Say hi, Joshy. Hi. <laughs> she did good. <laughs>